The purpose of this video is to deprogram people who are members of the Zeitgeist movement and uh, want to go into the Venus Project. Whether you want to accept it or not, I'm sure you're all very nice people. The fact is you're members of a cult. Any other cult, you've been brought in there and you've been brainwashed to believe that that has the solution. Now, it's very obvious that the Zeitgeist movement is a cult and I'll give you an example of why it is. On a previous video I made, I got a lot of comments from people claiming that somehow, and this is really frightening to think they actually believe this, that the Zeitgeist movement is a part of some kind of consciousness elevation. And indeed, in the movie, Peter Joseph does even state that, you know, the, the answer is within human consciousness. And then he follows that up with, and you do this by joining the movement. Now, can you explain to me how externalizing one consciousness to an exterior control system is elevating your individual consciousness. It isn't. It's exactly the same thing as religion. It's exactly the same thing as uh, drooling over a politician who has no intention of doing anything for you but believing all his hype. Exact same thing. Okay, then that's been established. You're now, you're now programmed. If you joined the Zeitgeist movement and you're still in it and you're actually promoting it, you are a programmed uh, cult member. Just like someone who's in the Moonies or, you know, in any other kind of cult. You, Jonestown, whatever. I'm not judging you because you might be a nice person and your decency may have led you into the cult. You're just assuming that you're a decent person at heart and you've been seduced by this classic cult recruitment manipulation technique of uh, appealing to your better nature and then then bringing you into this sort of surrogate family to, to offer you a, a, a future that doesn't exist. So let's talk about the Venus product for a second. For starters all the the gardening and food will be created through hydrophonics. This is horrible. This is actually chemicals. So you, there you go, right there, you're, 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 you're a chicken living on a, a human chicken living on a factory, on a battery farm, okay, in a, in a factory farmed environment. You'll no longer be a human being, but you will be a resource. Now this is very telling stuff, because it just, it, if you look at their pictures and their graphics, there's almost no people in them. The reason is most of you are to be wiped out. And who will be forced to go? You guys, you, the leaders, the the ones who are a part of the zeitgeist movement going forward, you will be forced to be taken out. And I'll tell you how this will happen and why this will happen. You need to start learning your history. Remember that old statement? Those who don't learn from history are condemned to repeat it. Well, you zeitgeist movement folks, you are a classic example of that. What ha who were the first people to be taken out when the Bolsheviks took over the Russian Revolution? The, the revolutionary youth committees who began the revolution, the idealized young people and general people who were behind the revolution initially were the first ones who put up against the wall and shot. Who were the first ones Hitler, the first group that Hitler wiped and the Nazis wiped out when they got to power? The brown shorts, uh, Brom and the rest of them, the most fanatical de devotees of, of the Third Reich and they were obsessed with Hitler to the point where he was their god. They were all rounded up and shot. Most of them were murdered in a hotel uh, that they'd been put in for the weekend. Braun himself was ha the most devoted foot soldier of Hitler, was handed a gun inside a cell and told to shoot himself. Now you hear, that's what's going to happen to you guys. You are going to be the, you are going to be forgotten. This is how they always work. This is how these revolutionary cults always happen. The ones who are the most fanatically devoted in the beginning will also be the ones, that's you by the way, who will feel the most betrayed when it doesn't work out the way it is. When they start seeing uh, giant posters of fresco all over the walls, like people in China saw giant posters of Mao and were told they were being promised a people's revolution. And what they got was a Mao cult. It happened in Russia with Lenin. Same thing happened in in uh, Kampuchea with Pol Pot and the same thing will happen in your beloved Venus project. You are not part of it. The cult of the Godhead is of Fresco is what's really driving this and be honest with yourself admitting it. This is why you're connecting yourself up to his central computer. He, his, his surviving legacy can drive your future consciousness through a, a program. How is that elevating you as a human being? How is that elevating your personal consciousness? It's not. It's destroying. Get wise and wake up. And one more thing. People should look at this as well. The Zeitgeist is using very powerful uh, neuro-linguistic programming and symbolic imagery to, to brainwash you people. Look at the way it's even presented. You have a holy trinity of Fresco, Roxanne and Peter Joseph. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Joseph himself goes on, on videos saying things like, Oh, I will never have children to save the earth. Doesn't that sound like Jesus? you know, devoted his, his mission on this earth to his father's, his father's church. 
And it's the exact same thing. They're, they're appealing to you with specific proven archetypes that are brainwashing you and pulling you into a cult. So here's the story, right? If you're currently a member of the Zeitgeist Movement or the Venus Project cult, leave. And I won't ever judge you ever again. None of us will put you down or make fun of you for being a human being. In fact, we'll actually praise you for recapturing your independence. Get away from those clowns, get away from that system and start thinking for yourself. Stop externalizing your own potential in order to fulfill the wishes of who are, I believe, a pathologically driven old man who's long past a sell-by date. If you're a young person, the last thing you should be listening to is an elderly billionaire, okay? Get out of that cult now and save yourself, okay? And we won't judge you. But while you're in there now, the last friend you'll find are the ones you're being the most devoted to. So take care and get out. Okay?